<laughs> okay. Uh, welcome. It's Jake. And today I am going to be unlocking the negative money glitch by listening to this six hour paint scratcher album. If you're not familiar with Brad Taste of Music, he is a guy who does similar to me, just on a bigger scale, uh, reacts to submissions on his live streams. Uh, the artist of this project, I believe, paid $9 a minute su to submit this project. I'll let you do the math, um, hence the joke title in the name. But simply put, I wanted to listen to this project. It sounded very interesting, very noisy, very experimental, um, which was a shame because when I was in the Brad stream, I had to dip out before I spoiled the whole project for myself. With that being said, six hours is going to take a long time, so I am just going to start this and get into this thing. Let's go. Maybe before I start it, I should put the volume to my headphones. That might be a good start. Okay.
not going to pause this project much throughout the listening. I'm going to try to just go straight through it, but I really like some of the break core elements that are tied into some of this ambient nature. Um, yeah, let's keep it going. Um, so first track in general, I'm really liking what I'm hearing here. I like the cyclical nature with how some of those highs at the beginning of this song have now come back around towards the closing end. And just generally that break core nature was really kind of uh, breaking up some of the monotony there. And uh, it sounds like we're going to get a little bit more of that in the next track, Nightwalk.
didn't help me at all. So I kind of picked up on this feeling on uh, the little bit I had listened to on Brad's stream. Um, but this album kind of feels like you're walking down a hallway, but the end of the hallway doesn't get any closer. And the further you walk, the entrance gets further away, um, almost like you're just in this uh, never ending cycle. Um, and this is only two tracks in, so let's keep it going. Next song is pinned. Okay. Hmm. 
Nice. Um, so yeah, that was a bit more of an upbeat moment on the record. Um, I really like how some of the instrumentals have become almost super staticky to the point where they have kind of just become static. Um, and yeah, I was getting a little bit of feels of death grips on that with uh, me, you know, echoing the get 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 ga 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 ga. But um, I don't think this is death grips by any means. This is its own project, its own thing, and it's really good. I have no reason to detract from this project up to this point. So we keep going. There's not really going to be a good spot for me to pause in the upcoming future, so I just wanted to take a moment and say I like the nice dubbed vocals. It's really making this thing feel even more isolated, especially with this more shift to a more industrial sound on this track. Good twist.
Wow. Those vocals in the background are like, uh, they're kind of almost like, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word for it, entrancing or almost hypnotizing. Um, they just kind of feel like mind washing, maybe, is the word I'm looking for, especially with this shift and this almost dance feel. This is starting to feel like if you took break core and slowed it down about 20, 30 BPM. Really cool. You know the answer. What is this? Are you trying to bait me? The real question is, are you going to sit for the entire six hours? I already know the answer. Why not? Enjoy it. You're my only mod now. Now you have a duty to the public. Wanted to give you something to do while you watch your uh, the jujitsu ju 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 kaisen. I can't say that name.
Nice, that's a deep sub. Deep, deep sub. Uh, so, getting to the end of Brain Buster here, I think I'm safe to say this is my favorite song yet on the project. It's much more progressive, it's so far the longest track yet, but this is going to pale in comparison to some of the later tracks. You know, keep in mind we're only 25 minutes in. Um, I like the industrial nature of this song though, it has a slight shift in that direction while still maintaining this like, barren dance setting. Um, and I just like the feel of like being super slowed down break core. So yeah, so far this might be my favorite track. Let's keep it moving. Hikiko Mori. Am I supposed to click?
different yeah so as i was listening to this song um similar break core vibe but a little bit more 8-bit in the instrumental um there was a nice deep sub that was pulling through throughout the track but overall i felt like this was just mostly a transitional period you know granted a long transitional period part of the course for this record um, but that roaring synth there at the end was a nice little final touch just to give you something. Um, good track. Doesn't hold up to Brain Buster for me, but good track. Time for an applesauce break. I can't even do product for you, Slim. It's not gonna show up. So in a similar vein to all the other tracks, I'm not going to get many points to pause here throughout these songs, but that wall of noise coming in was kind of simultaneously expected and unexpected because my notes so far are just that this song is escalating to something and it feels like a giant ball of energy building up. And I'm wondering if that wall of noise is just adding to that ball or if it is the energy kind of just coming out. Oh, 
sneeze there um i will just cut right through 
and say that is another moment on this record that I am really enthralled by. I love this. Um, as I kind of alluded to earlier, it's this sense of escalation or almost like a ball of energy building within you. Um, and I think those walls of noise that I was bringing up earlier uh, in combination with just some of the distortion and generally picking up, um, sidetracking a bit, uh, I'm thinking like when you're when you're talking about audio and peaking, there was definitely moments through this project where they were peaking the audio, but uh, once the walls of noise came in and at about that five minutes before the little bit of a soft reset, it felt like all the peaks had come together and the entire audio was just flat along the top. Um, which really just gave me the sense of like a built up heat death within the song. Uh, but then again, about five minutes in, you get that little like wubby reset and it just brings back the break chord dance feel all over again. Um, yeah, for, for only being like about a 10 minute track, I mean, it makes me question what these 25 minute ones are going to do to me. But uh, yeah, really great moment. Next track is Flooded Basement. I kind of forgot that I have Minesweeper even here. It's a good thing. It's more of a backup. Gotta blow my nose.
Nice. Yeah, so my commentary on that track is going to be a little bit brief, but uh, that's just more of another transitional period to me. It felt a bit crystallized, and there was some nice reversing of sounds in that track. Really brought it back down to that kind of just regular bass breakcore level. Um, but I think this being a transitional period is rather important because we're about to get into our first 20 minute song, which is Y and 18S equals M. And then there's a bunch of shorter songs until we get to the real long boys on this project. So that'll be that. Let's get into the next track. So I just wrote a note down and I hate to pause 20 seconds in, but right now it sounds like a computer is fighting for its life to exist in uh, this reality right now. It's awesome. listens to this kind of music at 10 in the morning though what is wrong with me That might be a fair, fair comparison. This is life grips. Track eight of 27. I'll be here all day. Calculate the square root of pi music. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to get a chance to pause this at any point through the song. Um, yeah, the intro of this track was like super plonky, and it made me start to feel like I was disconnecting from the the material world, I guess you could say, for a little bit. Um, 
And now at this point, I feel completely disconnected. I mean, I don't even know where I'm at right now. this track is going in now. I lulled out for a brief moment. point i am starting to feel deeply unsettled by this song um not in a completely negative way but this is starting to make me feel a bit uneasy just because it felt like we were stuck in a bit of an elevator to hell but now i'm just i'm wondering where the hell is where is this thing taking us Still a long way from entering hell yet. I don't think it's gonna slow down anytime soon. Okay. Going back a little bit. Ooh. 
super distorted breakcore territory. Hello? <laughs> what? feels at this halfway point that the track is kind of starting to fold in on itself um, and that same unsettling feeling I got earlier is still kind of present especially with those super high-pitched synths um, and as I was kind of talking on um, the head kick clarity song it felt like a ball of energy was building now it feels like that weight in my chest is just building up again um, but in comparison to head kick where I was able to slightly find some deeper enjoyment right now I, I truly do feel unsettled I'm still liking this but this might be the first track where like i'm pulling away from completely getting the bigger picture <laughs>
Wow. Listening to this in the early morning was a mistake. Oh my god. I know it's like mostly intentional, but those high-pitched synths are just fucking ringing my head. trying to talk to us. <laughs> You're a fucking psychopath, man. You are a psychopath. You're gonna sit and misroll your five costs listening to this kind of stuff. so bad, but I want to get through this song. Lavender Town is going on. Ow. Ow.
fighting for my life here, man. Fighting for my absolute life right now. So far the longest track here and the most chaotic by far. Everything prior to this point feels like it was building up to this moment so far in the record. Um, yeah, there were a lot of moments here. The beginning was uh, very computer sounding, um, very plonky, and uh, then you start to hit this big disconnect at about 3.30, which continues for a good majority of the song up until about 15 minutes in. Uh, that feeling of like a super unsettling nature was definitely there. The chaotic chops and like those high-pitched synths. Um, we're definitely basically giving me a headache, um, which <laughs> you would think would mean I, I hate this song, but it, it doesn't. I still enjoy this track, despite it maybe being my my least favorite so far, just because there were elements that did kind of throw me out of it. But once you get to those last five minutes, there's some, again, really nice chops. And I find the recursion of bringing the high synths back to be cool, despite it giving me a headache. Um, and that being said, like there were some cool melodies in those synths, even though the melodies do not stick around whatsoever. So um, ultimately, I'm feeling a step down on this song, but we're still in very positive territory. Track eight down, track nine to go, 27 tracks in total. Let's keep it moving. This thing, I feel like with a soft reset, I am now refreshed, ready to take this in better. Gotta crack the drink open. Um, so I hate to pause, you know, early into the track again, but that's just what I do. Um, generally, I feel this is a much-needed break or slowdown from the last track, and granted, I just had a five-minute break after finishing that last song, but I feel like this would provide a very good sense of relief after being bombarded by everything on the YN18 song. Um, so I, I like that. I like that a lot, that this song provides that for you.
Alvin's gonna make me blush. Um, again, I'm going to pause. Uh, so those little high-pitched kind of scream sounds that are going over the top, I actually really enjoy. And in comparison to the last song where I was saying the high-pitched noises were giving me a headache, um, simply a volume difference, I think, that makes the, the big difference in enjoyment for me. But make no mistake, I do think every decision here was fully intentional with uh, like the volume level of the high-pitched noises on the last song. I think that was completely intentional. So don't let that statement detract from this song or anything. Oh shit, I was playing Minesweeper, wasn't I? Completely forgot about that. Um, so I'll keep my comments here short and brief for this song because I already kind of covered most of it. Generally, another transitional period and a nice step down in some of the intensity, which I think is nice because it provides your brain that nice break that it needs after such a long abrasive experience. Um, and yeah, it's going to take us right into the next track, reading my own obituary. Oh. Back to the mine sweep.
scared. Whatever that is going on in the background. at sea right now. Yeah, okay, that was definitely an even slower pace than the previous track 90, and I'm starting to wonder, is this going to be like a very, very, very slow, just lull down to a, a much slower pace in the album? I don't know, we'll see with the next tracks. Um, but yeah, that song was giving me very ominous feelings, as I kind of said earlier, like feeling lost at sea. And uh, towards the end of it, it almost was starting to morph into a sort of chant in my own head. Um, and I really liked that last little 20 second touch where the background noise kind of comes right to the foreground and then it just ends. Uh, so next track is Underground. Let's go. Test my theory out.
Whoa. I was not expecting it to shift into an almost trap territory. That's pretty cool. God, I could imagine if you played this car or a uh, song in a car. That would sound terrible. It feels kind of quiet compared to the other songs, too. I feel like I haven't been able to hear myself talk this loud in a while. Wow, yeah. I don't think I'm even gonna pause it for this transition. I just, again, I'm shocked by how we kind of went into that trap territory and that base was super muddy. I got no complaints here. What is going on over here? then. I like the balance of control and chaos on this song because instrumentally it's loud but everything is pretty tight together on the instrumental and it just sounds you know like some garage punk kind of stuff but then you get that chaos in the background with this like wow 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 noise and it's really throwing me off base uh, but in a good way 
I mean, again, intentionally done. more minutes on the PB and J. Burn it down. Burn it all down. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light? That song was awesome. Um, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be driving down the streets in the car playing the song day to day. But like that, just as an experience, I thought that was very cool, very loud. Like I said, very balanced, but also chaotic. Um, and it was a distorted and warping experience in its like short little runtime in comparison to everything else. So great. Let's go. Bo Boke. Still not even halfway done yet. I haven't really said anything about this yet, but the existence of Breakcore on this project has basically faded at this point. I mean, there's little elements in there, but it is not the main influence anymore, and we are leaning into industrial ambient territory, which is what I had stepped into uh, when I had first heard this project during Brad's stream, so I'm a little bit more in my know, I guess, but let's keep it going. My known territory. That's that's what I was trying to say. Me no do word good. Holy Christ. This shit is devilish.
I'll let that one pass, but those were the same headache-inducing high as I was hearing from uh, way back when. I hope those don't stick around for too long. to pause it i didn't want to but this build-up is actually crazy right now um it's like such a smothering embrace i love it deeper tone.
Okie pokey. So generally, I do like what that song is going for. I think it really does aid into this like progression through these shorter tracks. Um, I will say my prediction earlier where I said everything was kind of slowing down, it seems like that is not the case. Everything is actually starting to pick up. Maybe it slowed down for one track or two, but uh, now all these tracks have been having this huge, like, long progressional buildups of absolute chaos. Um, and like I said, I enjoy what it does for the record, but there were points on that song where it was just a bit too much for me. I even dropped the volume down a little bit on the computer because of it. Um, so I'm kind of feeling in a similar way um, as I was to YN18s, except YN18s was a much longer track and there was more little elements to pick up on. So this might be my least favorite point so far, but that's neither here nor there. Let's keep it moving. Cacophony, polyphony. Hey, the break core is back. How many more times can I make that joke before it stopped being funny four times ago? Get 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 got 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 got. That song was great. I like it. I really appreciate these little breaks we're getting in between some of these songs where like you just kind of go back to some more slower tones, giving you a break from all the chaos. And like this just felt like some of that uh, UK concrete echoey just dub music. Um, so it was really good. Um, and hell, look, I made a bunch of progress on Minesweeper too. Yeehaw. Um, next track is Cut. And I'm just going to guess off the title. We're probably picking it back up again.
I like how the song is kind of just chugging. A little bit of break coming back. Whoa. This might be the first time on the project where I'm gonna run that back. Yeah, that was... That little, like, scratchy DJ transition there was super cool. I just... I haven't heard anything quite like that yet on this record, so just that really stuck out to me. That's awesome. Let's see. Are we lucky? What the hell? Beautiful. I like these metallic sounds in the background. I like how the track is kind of slowly falling apart right now. When do they stop tuning their instruments and start playing the music? That is the music. I can't tell if it's the fact that I'm finally just like eating actual food today or if it's the song itself, but it is having some really weird effects up in my brain right now. I feel very slowed down. I'm hoping that uh, I can muster the energy because we're not even two hours into this project. There is still four hours to go.
give me one second. Well, it might be criminal to do this, but oh well, we'll live. Um, to catch you up to speed, some guy. Um, generally, I've been really enjoying this whole entire project. There's been about two moments where some of the higher noises really just cut through a little too deep and were giving me a little bit of a headache. And granted, I'm doing this right in the smack dab morning. Maybe not the smartest idea, but generally, I've been liking the whole project. Um, there's a lot of break core presence in the beginning. Um, and then as you kind of get to the first long form track, which is YN18, it starts really hitting you with everything and adding in a lot of the chaos and some of that break core disappears. But at this point in the record, some of that break core is coming back. Um, but pinpointing an exact highlight, I guess I could say my two favorite tracks so far, if you for some reason wanted to like save them, would be Brain Buster and Head Kick. Um, with nothing quite since then reaching as high as a high as I got with those songs. But um, yeah, we go. We keep it moving. This was very much a last minute decision last night after I finished editing. I was like, eh, I want to listen to this. I might as well throw a stream up. Why not? Kind of commits me to actually finishing it. I can't bitch out halfway through. Next track is going to be Angel. Um, before we get to Angel, though, I want to say uh, about Cut. It was a very chuggy song, um, and as I kind of mentioned earlier in it, it's kind of having a little bit of a weird effect on me where I really feel, like, slowed down right now, but I think that might be contributed from the food. There was a lot of cool metallic sounds, and uh, I, that was the first track I actually ran something back on with this, like, almost DJ kind of style reverse in the instrumental, so... Yeah, let's keep moving. Oh. And we're back to stage five. Bomb. There's a general bounce to this song, which is still keeping it in that kind of club feel. Yeah, I hit to pause again, but a uh, very interesting experience on this song with it kind of just having that bounce I was mentioning earlier, kind of 
giving you something to rock along with, but the track is actually just falling apart in the background. Interesting. Sweeper can wait. Sorry if this is loud as hell. But so is the music, so it should block it out. Fuck it. Cool. Fuck it again. Awesome. I love Minesweeper. Okay, this, has been, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> hey, the bounce is back. Club classics, club classics, club, club classics. Okay, uh, so yeah, Angel, uh, it started off super chaotic, uh, super spooky. Um, but then there was like a little bit of a bounce that kind of caught me off guard and shifted me back into like a, a rhythmic territory. And then, you know, the tracks falling apart in the background starts kind of falling apart right in your face for a while 
um, which is where I kind of started to feel this track maybe dragging its feet a little bit. Um, but right at the end, it kind of, you know, brought me back in with some of that break core coming back and just generally putting the bounce back in the track. It's not too comparable to the other songs for me. I, I like a majority of the rest of this record yet, but it at least didn't give me the same headache feelings I was feeling on a couple other songs. Um, with that being said, next track is Surprise, which is the last sub 10 minute track. I'm going to listen to that one, take a bathroom break, and then from this point on, 18 to 27 are all 10 minutes plus. Uh, it'll, it'll be a fun trip. Makeshift Swahil. Oh, Swahili. Oh my god. I feel like such a chamuli. Sounds like broken glass. So yeah, some of those vocals in the background, um, one second. Sorry, I wanted to type that down, it was hard to do it while I was speaking it. Um, a lot of those vocals in the background are, like, so horror-esque. Like, uh, they sound, you know, terrifying. And, uh, that's actually what I heard on a lot of, uh, Paint Scratcher's other music, uh, because I wanted to check him out without spoiling this surprise. So I did check out a couple of his other songs, and I was hearing a lot of this kind of sampling in there, so... We'll see where he takes it on here. Son, where'd you find this?
Yeah, so those screams in the background are super unsettling. It is making me feel like my my arm hair right now is standing right up on itself. I have goosebumps for sure. Um, and I think that is that is, you know, part of the goal here. I think that is what Paint Scratcher wanted to get out of you with this song. So he's accomplishing his mission, whether I'll be honest with you, I'm not fully enjoying the song just yet, but there's still three minutes for it to change up a bit. I felt like I was low to the ground. Oh. We're going lazy style, baby. Okay, there's the switch up. Like I'm in the mountains. Some of that static I'm getting over my ears is almost kind of sounding watery and it's almost like washing the brain at the end of this song. I appreciate everything this thing has done in the last like two minutes quite a bit. extra careful here not to spoil any of the surprise from the track surprise which comes after this perfect okay yeah so i liked the repetition of that like almost breaking glass sound for the first like four minutes of this track um but the vocals in the background, although I think their intention is to make you feel uneasy, doesn't mean I necessarily enjoyed that. Um, but everything in the last two minutes, I very much appreciated. Um, kind of feels like, again, like I said, a washing of the brain, just giving you a fresh reset. Because at this point, we are about to get in the track Surprise, which is a 38-minute track, and it is the longest track on this project. So I am sure... Every decision up to this point, fully intentional. Um, with that being said, um, before we get into this longer stretch of the album, I'm going to take the smart move to take another bathroom break and uh, return shortly. Man, taking it in now, I think we've got yeah, about four hours to go, give or take. Um, starting with the first Longest Boy here, 38-minute track, 
surprise. I am only so excited to see what the surprise could possibly be. I like what the song is doing so far. Super earwormy, brainy stuff. Who fuck with it? Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we're losing some of the, the quirky sounds in the background. What are we trading them for? So far the song is very cyclical. Everything feels revolving around you. Skibbity, 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 skibbity.
don't know what the song particularly did to do this, but in a similar way that some of those break songs I described earlier were making me feel much more relaxed. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. Like over the course of these first five minutes, I just feel so much more at peace than I was on the last song. Like I completely forgot the last song really rubbed me that wrong. Really good. Really, really, really good. Looks like we're picking back up again. There's something this song is doing right now where I almost feel like I'm being beaten into submission and kind of entranced into a place where I, I, I just, I can't leave. Like, yeah, I don't know any other way to put it other than like, I just, I feel like I am being lulled into a trance-like state. It's interesting. It's interesting for sure. Getting close. The song has me zen locked.
Kind of break breaking a little bit again here. Do I need to bust out the super glue? Eat the pizza. Eat the pizza. I have nowhere to click. I'm going to die. Ah! I hate Minesweeper. check if I can do this. Let's see. It looks like the lighting is still fine even with the window open. Bless. Bless up. Eh, it's fine. Sweet.
those little high pitched fluttery sounds. Chrysler. Oh, I got the perfect thing for this. Trying to reboot the computer. It's not working though. last of it. Hopefully that can power me through this. You know, I haven't paused at all during this song yet, so I want to get at least some of my notes out so I'm not just cramming this all at the end. Um, starts out very cyclical. 
everything's revolving around you. You get these robotic and spacey sounds. Um, and the first five minutes really relaxed me, like I said earlier. Then it starts to pick back up again. The track is kind of beating you into submission, taking control of you. Um, and then it starts falling apart a bit. Um, with these, like, high-pitched fluttering sounds and everything like that. And then, like, now it kind of feels like the track is trying to reboot itself a little bit. And, uh, specifically, I like the way these sounds right now are getting, like, stretched out. And then, like, uh, condensed back within themselves. Uh, kind of like, like, being sucked into a black hole. I think is the best feeling I can give for this. Wow, I, I don't even know how to, like, talk about whatever is going on right now. It's like when you're fast-forwarding on a TV. And reversing. Drugs, kids. Drugs are very bad. That's not me playing that sound effect in the background there. You tell me the Windows reboot is in here somewhere. Seriously, that that is not me. Ask me. Yeah. 
It's time we rec we retire Minecraft or Minesweeper. Goodbye. I don't need you anymore. I feel very peaceful. Very peaceful. So much so that I'm gonna kick back again. Just a little bit. finding this to be one of the easiest tracks so far to sit through, despite its longest runtime of the entire album. Subtle slowdown. open anyway.
it to the final, final, final stretch of this song. I probably don't have to pause the track to say this, given it's a slower moment. Um, I like the way that this thing was simultaneously fast-forwarding and reversing at the same time. Gives me the sense that you're falling down this almost endless spiral. Um, or walking up a never-ending staircase. Either or, really. doing it again. sips of absolutely nothing. This song's gonna put me into an early retirement. The sun is up, the day is nice, yet I am ready for a nap. God, I gotta finish this album before my cats start nagging for food. We got three hours. Come on. We gotta we gotta put this on 2x speed or something.
nice sub. I like that bass. Alright, I don't like it that loud though. Okay, so longest track on the album. I think it really nails the landing uh, with what it's trying to do. Um, kind of sucks you in and it gets you locked in this state where you're kind of deeply meditative, just thinking about what sounds are kind of around you. And before you know it, minutes, 5, 10, 15, 20, are just kind of wishing by. Um, and it has this very slowing of time kind of effect to it. This is one of my favorite tracks yet. Um, I wasn't going to really use these for this, but why not? Chowder needs to get out of the jail. Um, I really think this track is pretty much perfect for what it's trying to accomplish. I have no complaints here. Um, and if this is the longest cut here, I don't see how any of these other ones can really rub me too wrong, but we'll see. Next track is You Must Stay. Why do I speak? Why do I say words before things even happen? Oh, by the way, it's not You Must Stay, it's Welcome. Feel that weight building in my chest again. Monster, but I don't have any more. I'll settle with water.
no good point to pause it. Um, what I'm noticing with this track is it started off very chaotic, but it has eased up on some of the chaos and leaned more in a territory of suspense building, which I do think is two different things here. This is leading to something. This whole project has been leading you to different places. Some of those deep tones are really lulling me out. Um, again, not in a bad way, it's just they have such a way of sucking the energy right out of your body. This really would have been something that I should have probably listened to before bed, as crazy as that sounds, but that's okay. We keep going. some of those keys in the back. Yeah. And we're about to go on to page three of my notes. Jesus Christ. write a whole essay about this thing.
Oh my god. We're back to loud. This genre is loud. That is that is how I would genre this. A wall of abrasive noise taking chunks out of your brain. Going through a wormhole. pause this so I'm just gonna hit it um there is something so genuinely unique about music like this where I'll be honest I don't see myself revisiting this project in full at least not anytime soon but it's still a project that I want the experience of going front to back through it at least once um and I think that is kind of a quality to it that will forever keep this in a certain niche territory where uh this is maybe not intended for repeat listens. Um, and that's why you will never see this being overly popular. But you don't have to be overly popular to be respectable and good. And worth worth investing time into. Um, on that same tangent, you know, it takes six hours to listen to this project. Think of how that gets extrapolated into making this. This is not simply just bombarding you with noise. Again, all of this is intentional. And the artists who made this, I can only think of how many times they've listened to this piece while making it. y'all didn't see that. Lord knows I'm not editing it out. Hello, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty?
This is a certified hood classic. Damn, son, where'd you find this? FBI, open up! Obama, can grab that sassy balls. Lit. I just realized something. By sitting through this six hour project, it legitimately gives Paint Scratcher a decent chance of being somewhere on my Spotify wrapped. Likely not because the top five is going to easily be over six hours of playtime, but it, it's a good, it's a good technique. You know, if I keep listening to Paint Scratcher stuff, everything is so long form that it's, it's, it adds up. Nature Valley? Hey, it's Nature Valley. It's the bars that break into a million pieces. A favorite. Slowly fading into that heat death again. Just the reverberation and the warbliness to these ending synths is just so roaring. 
Like, I can't even hear myself think right now. Washing us out. I like the super slow release at the end. That's nice. Ah. Oh. Cause see the th the big the easy way to compare this is go oh everywhere at the end of time. That's what this is. It's not. Um. Again, the transitions are much more direct and abrupt on that album. Or that compilation, and it's completely framed through a different aesthetic entirely. Um, the aesthetic I'm getting from this project right now at this point, though, is like this genuine sense of distress, especially when you look at the titles. You've got Welcome, You Must Stay, Inability to Leave, Fight Your Way Out. I mean, we're, wherever we are being welcomed to is not a welcoming place. It does not want us here. And, uh, you know, by the back end of the song, you are slowly fading into that what I describe as like a heat death again. Um, and I, I kind of said earlier, I couldn't even hear myself think. Um, and that's why I'm very appreciative of the slow release at the end, because I feel like you really need that after, uh, you know, 15 minutes of just deep, abrasive walls of noise. Um, but I still really enjoyed this song. Again, to be fair with it, much more enjoyment out of some of the other tracks, but it, it's a great experience to get through. That with uh, With that being said... The bathroom calls, so you must go to the back room halls. I'll be back in a minute. I really underestimated how much energy this album could truly suck right out of me. With that being said, next track is You Must Stay. Ah. Fuckloads of preservatives in these peanut butter and jellies. That's what makes them taste so good. Same thing with these Doritos. Makes the heart attack even more worth it. Thank you. 
Nice. The telephone is broken. You can't call home. We are stuck here. As the title says, you must stay. Kind of getting a similar vibe to in Majora's Mask when you put on the Deku mask and everything around you is just twisting and warping with how the song is tearing and ripping the fabric of time around me. It's pretty cool. Next video, ranking the uh, paint scratcher discography, ranking every paint scratcher song. Hello. I almost knocked over my little my Lego flower. How how bad of me. Why am I blurry? Hey, hey! Fix it. Weird. Hey, I'm back! Look at that! Honestly, I should have just left it. It's probably fitting for this listening experience for me to be blurred out. Mixed with Lavender Town, mixed with Majora's Mask. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Starting to get some of that wishy-washy, lost at sea feeling again on this track. is sinking in that I've still got hours to go. hearing like some sonic adventure like sounds in the background uh they're like some of the ring sounds but that could just be this album warping my perception of basically everything sound related right now and just making me very confused as to what is going on
Hello. 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 Is there anybody out there? There. There. Future. Future. It's just me, myself, and all the noise. Boopsie. That's better. I've been wearing these headphones so long, makes my ears itch. dropping shit, that's no good. in between wanting to kick my feet up, stand up straight, fidget around, stemming.
question I'm starting to get at this point is was this album made for you to even enjoy it? Does the artist want you to enjoy this experience? Or, or at this point, is it almost a test? Like I've mentioned before, beating you into submission. This, this project really feels at this point like it is trying to pull everything out of its arsenal to scare you away. To get you to stop listening. And it's just a matter of whether you can keep going. And in that vein, yes I can, we keep going. I was thinking of maybe trying to play Halo with the buddies later tonight. I don't think my brain's going to be able to comprehend that. Where a lot of the tracks before were giving you a brief lull on the back end of the song, this one is picking up the intensity quite a bit. Again, just like with these breaking glass sounds in the background, really, really trying to just do whatever it can to get you to go away. <laughs> This album really too plays off the uh, sunk in time kind of idea where like, I've already listened to, what, going on the fourth hour now, I have to finish it. No one's here to clip that.
Um, to really nail in my point throughout this song is the lack of consistency on this track is what's really off-putting to me, because all the other tracks have had something for you to grip onto, something to just to keep you on there for the ride, whether it's the cyclical nature, a little bit of a bounce to it, but this one really by the end is just hitting you with everything, and it's 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 changes in tempo, it's changes in uh, volume, just everything is so inconsistent that like you don't know what to feel at this point. I like what it's going for, um, but being very fair to it, it was this was the toughest track for me to get through right now and i keep running it in comparison to uh makeshift swahili which did have those horror samples in the background that were kind of scaring me away but that one was so much shorter and just i was able to kind of get my mind off of it but this one my mind has been scrambled and fried from you must stay and now i have an inability to leave I seriously just need one second to like refresh my head. Give me one second. Holy Christ. Uh, I'm really torn between a decision of, of, of finishing this thing in one go or potentially taking a break. Uh, this may seriously be an album that has gotten the better of me. I consider myself rather patient when it comes to music. Um... This one is just really crushing me. I'm going to try and see if I can make it make it through inability to leave. But it's testing me. This is testing me.
random and not related to the music, but if this kind of project wanted to have a vinyl variant, <laughs> it would have to be a box set on its own. Some of that uneasiness I was feeling in the beginning of this track has started to fade away, thankfully. I don't want to get too ahead of myself and think that, you know, it's not going to return. I at least feel like I'm in a bit of a more positive headspace for getting through this now.
We sleep. We sleep. That was too good to be true. Doing something. It woke me up a little bit. Interesting. Oh, come on, no. Keep do keep doing that thing you were doing. I liked that. I had to find a point to pause at some point. Um, yeah, that intro made me feel very uneasy. Kind of eased my way out of it throughout a good majority of the intro portion of this song. I liked what I was doing halfway, though. Kind of felt like a subtle bit of a rebirth for the track. Um, and now you've got these dissonant keys mixed with a, just a raw sense of emptiness, which... I don't know if I necessarily wanted to go back to this, but it makes sense, so we'll keep riding along. Bye. 
Oh, wow. It's really warping those keys now. Okay. Okay, that's kind of... Hold up. This marks the second moment. Which is, this is gonna be the second time I run uh, a part of this project back, because that kind of had a nice little groove to it in those keys. Can't believe I'm doing this. Just give it a second to come in. Tell me that's gonna have a bop to it. I ran it back way too far to hit this again. <laughs> what? Okay. Thank you. 
What the song is doing for me right now is giving me a reason to stick with it. It feels like it's giving you glimpses of what you might get rewarded with if you stick through all the walls of noise. I don't know how much that's going to hold true or actually be able to get me to go through this one, but that's what I'm feeling. My cat is so loving right now. I think she can sense my my misery. Misery isn't the right word. I certainly don't hate this. It's just a lot. A lot to take in. Very mixed emotions right now.
Okay, um, yeah, I mentioned earlier stuff in the song, I don't even know what to say at this point, like, this album is really turning my brain into mush, and you would think that means I hate it, which, which, which I don't, I actually like the song quite a decent amount, um, but we were we're getting into a territory where like I am questioning the worthiness of the abrasiveness. Like, I see another twenty seven minute track. Fight your way out. I don't know if I can keep fighting anymore. I genuinely don't. Let's just run it. You know what? I could get down with this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I choose to fight. This feels like a much needed recharge to the batteries in my body. I am praying. I am praying this is a turning point.
We are so back right now. I was really tempted to call it quits, and I'm glad I didn't, because if we can just keep this going, we are so fucking back. song? I don't have Discord open. Must have been the song. Thought I heard a Discord sound earlier on this project too. That's evil. Why are you putting that sound in there, man? It makes me think my Discord's going off. That alone incites a feeling of anxiety within me. Oh, now he's playing with the volume again. Christ, it's back. The chaos is back. Oh God.
Okay. Yeah, my billing was so interrupted for Xfinity, you know? I love fake emails. Everything is just picking up in intensity over time right now. I genuinely think you could do psychological damage to somebody by looping this album and torturing them with it. Um, which, again, I don't say that to be, like, a super big, like, pejorative or, like, take this album down, but, like, I just do not believe that the average listener has the patience to get through this. And, like, it's a lot. That That's that really what I'm getting at, is this project is a lot to take in.
There must be reason to the madness! Oh, please, Lord! volume by 50 percent oh my god Practicing patience right now.
That probably did some damage. Hopefully that fixed it. stimulus I've received over the past five hours is really starting to add up. We got this. We got this. Easy. highs. I don't like them. I don't like them.
the final transition out of this song. I hope my expression on my face can kind of just give you where I'm at right now with this, is that this album is beating the absolute king life out of me. And I just keep sitting here questioning, like, what am I doing? What am I doing here right now? And I don't even have the answer to that question. But as I sit here and I look at these track titles, it like feeds into that energy. I'm trying to fight my way out, but God damn, this is tough, dude. You, you got here at an interesting time, Zarko, dude. This has been a journey. This has been a freaking journey, and there's still five tracks to go at about a little under two hours of runtime. I am really hoping this project picks me back up into a territory that's at least a little bit more calming, because all this wall of noise I've been hearing is killing me. It is killing me. Oh no. More noise. More fucking noise. Maybe if I just start like mashing sound bites. This is a certified hood classic. No, it doesn't fix it. Fire in the hole. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Oh come. On. I'll say this one's at least calmer than the last few tracks. I tell myself at this point I'm five hours in. What's another hour and a half, right? I mean, shit, I've got three pages of notes typed up too on this project. Sucker, no I don't. I start and stop the recording every bathroom break I took. You think I'm doing that? Hell no. Hell no. That shit is getting spliced together and thrown straight up tomorrow. Because there's no way I finish rendering it today. I mean, I know something I could do to make this actually a lot easier on me. I could definitely unlock a cheat code right now and just make everything a little bit less painful. Also, though, this... This moment, despite it being absolutely ear uh, infecting and poison to my brain cells that are left, is at least calming enough in comparison to everything else I've been listening to that I'm not like. My ears are not pounding. My head is not pounding anymore.
I need God. I need Jesus in my life. I kind of like the low chugginess of this song. It really does feel like it's unwrinkling some of the knots in my... my geary of my brain. We're opening the folds back up. I can almost remember how to do 2 plus 2 at this point. Chainsaw music. Chain core. thing getting me through right now is that I'm stemming in my other hand. It's my fucking fidget too. I don't know where my fidget cube is, but I could really use that right now. I suppose I could play this though. Let's do some Xbox racing. Gotta dodge these cars. Go left, right, left, right. No! Oh wait, I, I made it. Whoa! 
whooping ass at this game. Oh, there's the finish line. There's the finish line. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's throwing cars in front of me before I can even... Finish line is right there. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh no. game of Minesweeper. functioning brain. That was fun. Fuck. This always happens.
Aga Aguski And again, that feeling of everything falling apart. Um, but not in the same way I got it previously on the album. Generally, earlier on this project, I was feeling like the tracks were falling apart, but in a way to get a rise out of you. Now it feels like it's falling apart more as a consequence of everything that's came before it. Um, which is, is good. That is a good thing because... Um, it helps me contextualize and enjoy this song a bit more. Damn, why do I always get hit with paragraphs when I'm streaming, though? Oh, he said fuck no. You don't want none of this. Interesting ending, sure. Kind of sounds like, you know, you're ejecting a tape from a tape player or a VHS from a VHS player. Um, generally, I'm still... I'm still worn down by this project. I... Starting this project off was in, like, complete 10 out of 10 territory with it. But as I kept listening, I cannot disregard the fact that it is truly breaking me down at my core. Whether it's intentional or not, I appreciate the spectacle of this record. I appreciate what it does everything having a intentional and a, like a, like a purpose but that that can i cannot disregard the fact that this thing is absolutely ripping me apart um but i think i'm gonna keep it going again the sunk cost four songs to go i mean what is the point of stopping now
abject misery at this point. down without any shadow of a doubt right now. This has been the most challenging listen to sit through. I have cut albums short before. I could have easily gotten through those. This is by no me like this is just end all be all the hardest thing I've ever listened to. That I, I don't even know how to put words to it. And I think the reason why it's so hard to get to the end is because I enjoyed so much of what I was hearing. And at this point, I am just feeling such the opposite.
That's one. You drink two of these a day. If you don't take your hydration seriously, why should I take you seriously? Lot of mixed feelings with this song. It's kind of it's been a real test of patience and it kind of beat me into the ground for the first half and now I'm feeling a bit better. But everything at this point, like ever ah, ever since Welcome, everything has been so abrasive and just divisive for me. No apologies. Six minutes to this song. I can't feed you right now. Goosebumps again. They ain't going anywhere.
They've never felt so much longer than ever. Scare every mom and dad listener I'd ever had. off for that one. At this point, anything high pitch, I'm fucking nailing this thing to a cross floor. Okay. I'm gonna keep it straightforward. Um, I don't really have anything to say about that song. It it really, it might be my least favorite one here, I don't know. I'd say, oh, I'm gonna re-listen to it and compare it to the other song I didn't like as much, but I think just everything is, maybe that song isn't the most offensive here in a vacuum, but at this point in the record, this is everything I want to just go away right now. I am breaking with this record. This is a me thing. Maybe your your experience will vary, but I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm just getting... I'm going. I'm going. Three songs left. Next song is Requiem. Requiem for a Dying Planet. Come on. Don't break me. Not this close to the end. Do not break me. Mm 
Okay. Quite like the water sound, to be honest. If that is the one thing I can have to just cling on to, just leave me with the water dripping. That's all I need. I might take a risk here, kicking the volume back up. I feel like gooning. I hope somebody's out there gooning to this right now. Oh, fuck. I gotta move my shit over. I'm finna knock my TV over. I just thought of something absolutely hilarious. What is the most what is the most happy and optimistic song? Mm, got it. Oh wait, no, that won't work. That won't work. Never mind, never mind.
stop. You violated the law. Where is that one? I know I got that one. There. Stop right there, criminal scum. Remix time. As the song continues to just trudge on and on and on, I'm really developing a deeper appreciation for this track. I mean, maybe two, three times now I've been ready to call it quits. And this thing is just such a reward for not doing it. Oh, son of a bitch. That's not more soothing than the past seven tracks. Interesting. Well, good thing I'm recording. I don't know what it's talking about. Buffering. don't know what's going on there with that.
what happens if I just refresh the page. I'm just gonna ignore it. gonna be a-okay. I think the madness is over. I pray this album has no more switch-ups in, in store for me. Good thing I don't have any friends with the name Perry. We're starting with a P. Very lucky. Yeah, no reason to pause with how quiet this track is. This was a much needed break from all the chaos, and I hope it's a turning around point where the chaos is over. I say this as more harsh noise comes in. Either way, even this level of noise is nothing in comparison to what I had just put myself through. I like the water sound. I'm glad it stuck around. I have a deep appreciation for this track. I feel so much more at ease and like everything is going to be okay as I go into the last hour of this project in two tracks. Next one being titled, Just Let Go. I already have let go.
but at this point, I feel like that's the least of my concerns. seem that my stream is having some sort of connection issue. I don't want to disappoint the one viewer I may have right now, but I think I am going to call it at this point and end the stream and finish this off stream. Mm. Of course, as I pause it, my warning goes away saying that now it is not having issues. I mean, realistically, I'm going to put the recordings together and re-upload this as its own video. But... Hmm... Fuck it. I'll leave it up. It's not like it's going to make my recording suffer. If it's, if it's all to shit, in the end half, I'll just private the stream afterwards. Can't rattle the noise.
right back. Yep. Yeah, so I think, uh, the last track was really a fleeting moment of any sort of relaxation on this project, because so far this has been abrasive, harsh noise for the entirety, and I don't see it going away anytime soon. Fifteen minutes to go on this track. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. something here to all this noise. This doesn't feel as attacking as some of the previous tracks. I mean, I'm not still not in love with it now after all the noise I've heard. But there's at least something charming to this noise. It might just be my my spirit coming back to me a little bit too. The reverb, Sonny. Crank up the reverb and oh my God. Dim my way through the final stretch of this album if I just keep making noise and pressing sound buttons. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again.
go. Ten minutes to go of the second to last track. It's gonna. Yep. 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 Here we go again. Just gonna say it was about to pump fake. That ain't the ending. Not. It's never the ending. Boom! 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 I like the reverb that's going on right now. Okay, not, not combined with the highs, but on the lower notes, it was pretty okay. You could draw a line across the top of the audio.
Epstein never killed himself. That's just what they want you to think. Where's the list? Where's the list? suspenseful. I was building up real heavy. I could feel it coming at me. I think that song was very harsh and very noisy, uh, but it was also very good, um, given the context of everything. I didn't mind it that much. Um, in fact, I kind of thoroughly enjoyed that track. I don't know what has revitalized my spirit with this project, but something about that noise, it felt eventful, um, and I was getting a lot of scenery with it, uh, very end of the world destroyed earth vibes um yeah given given everything to get to this point and kind of there was a beauty to it um with that being said one last track consume dead this could do all sorts of things 31 minutes again. Kind of bringing back some of those computer sounds from earlier too.
again, bringing back some of those spacey synthesizers. I do love the sense of recursion on this project, despite it not always going my way. I think it would be really cool if the last 25 minutes were folk music. That would be really cool. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I think it would be really cool if the last 25 minutes was actually just the Powerpuff Girls theme song on repeat. And some more stretchiness to some of those synthesizers in the back again. Really hearkening to some of the stuff earlier on this project. With the new Ford F-150. Be happening.
And to think I was gonna... I was gonna tap out. What was I so scared of? It's just noise. It's just noise. Do be kind of hungry, though. <clears throat> I don't suppose Taco Bell is in my future. Wow. Take them. My last brain cells, I don't need them. Take them. I was like, baby, 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 oh, I was like, baby, 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 no, like, baby, 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 oh, I thought you'd always be mine, mine. It's getting louder.
I know this is kind of against the point of this album, but at this point in listening, I really feel like you could have accomplished a lot of the same feeling uh, and invoked a lot of the same emotions while still trimming down on some of these tracks. Um, Because at just a certain point, I'm not going to even just say repetitive. It it gets a bit wearing. And I, I really do feel like that is part of the purpose of this project. But I just think to myself, like, would I get any less of a sense of evoked dread if this thing was four hours long? Probably not. I'd probably get the same reaction, but I'd also have an extra hour back uh, to my day right now. We keep it going. 16 more minutes. Way to the finish line, baby. God damn. Bring that back. Page number four of my note taking. What the fuck? Is it really gonna bring back the dance vibe? There is a god.
Random. Rest in peace, Ozone Guala. I'll say for as much stuff as being brought back from other songs on this song and kind of recurring a lot of the themes there is one thing that i am so glad has not shown itself again on this project which is uh on the song oh where is it makeshift swahili again those horror voices in the background uh, i'm so glad those have not made a return that being said there's eight minutes left so i might speak too soon No kidding, Omar. No kidding. It's it's a okay, man. You know, I almost question one song on repeat for seven hours or this. Which one would I rather do? Probably still this. Depending on what the song is, but yeah, this has been a trip. I almost tapped out like two or three times. But at this point, it, seven minutes is nothing. I'm finishing it.
bam, 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 bam. It is music, though. It is, um, I'll pause it. Fuck it, I only got six minutes left. Um, it is music, though. It, it just, it's a different context. It is, it is a long form thing. And I, I just, you know, I, I discovered long way into this that the beginning is actually, I think you would have rather enjoyed the beginning. I don't think you would have had a problem with some of the first tracks. Um, but once you get about halfway through, this album is fighting against you. It is almost like it is trying to get you to stop listening, which yeah, you, you can question certainly like, why? What's the point of that? I don't think this is meant to be a thing that you listen to multiple times. I think it's meant to be like an experience to see how far into discomfort you can really go. And this had me about at my breaking point. I said earlier in the stream that, uh, you could torture people with this music. Like, if this was on loop just 24-7, you would go insane. Six more minutes. Damn, they're gonna go exactly seven hours. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm not. I'm doing that tomorrow. That is tomorrow. As soon as this thing finishes, I'm gonna say my final thoughts. I'm gonna shut this shit off. And I'm gonna go lay in the sun while it's still outside. See, time is flying by. I just said six minutes. It's already at four minutes left. What is time? Time is an illusion. A mere human concept. If you will. And just having any sort of drum or kick to rock your head along with has made this thing fly by.
Home stretch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. This might be the first album I have to rate out of 1,000, uh, just because I want to give it a 666 out of 1,000. <laughs> oh, motherfuck. Calm down. What the fuck now? Fuck it, turn it all up. Just turn it all the way up. No, 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 no. That is it. That's just done. Putting a pin in this fucking thing. All right. That was a journey. God damn it, that was a journey. And I honestly feel like a changed person after that. Uh, so many times during this project, I was ready to tap out. I was getting headaches. I really thought that this was just something I was going to have to take in in pieces. Um, and honestly, if I would have stopped listening, I probably would not have returned to finish it. Uh, this thing is a tricky little monster. It lures you in at the beginning with like being primarily like these these dancey little break course songs, but with like noise and drone in the background. And you're just like, oh, okay, you know, it's going to continue like these. Some of these are going to go long form. Like it is what it is, right? Um, but then, you know, about halfway through and really once you hit surprise, it, it springs the trap on you. And it, it's it's just like, no, no, we're, sub we're substituting all of that dance fun rhythmic stuff we're gonna we're gonna just bombard you with noise um and to certain extents i feel like it really works in its favor um initially i was completely behind it um but as it went on i can appreciate the spectacle of it but actually listening to it has been a troubling experience for me i mean i i can appreciate it so much but there is a certain point where i i go yeah in any other context i would have just turned this thing off um, and I was going to listen to this on my own free time, started the stream up, uh, or, or planned to do the stream just to have the recording of it. Why not? Right. And then at that point it kind of locked me in because once you get halfway through, what am I going to do? Just have a half finished video? No, that's no fun. So I had to sit through the rest of it. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I had some kind of force within me pushing me to get to the end of it. But with that being said, I'm, fu I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm going outside. I'm going to roll around in the grass and, and, and get some sun in. I'm going to go get food. Bye. I, I gotta. I gotta go. I gotta go.